Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image back with some reasons to buy the D7000 over the D5100. So I've given you some reasons to buy the 5100 over the D7000, given you some reasons to buy the 5100 over the D3100. However, here's some reasons that the 7000 still the top of the pile there and reasons you might want it over the 5100. First of all, more rugged, more solid body. You're looking at a more metal in the body, more rugged, more durable. Um, so that's the first one. Second of all, it's more of a pro body. You've got the two command dials. Uh, for those of you that are used to shooting more of a pro body, the stepping down to a 5100 with the single command dial is going to be a little bit um, hard to get used to. I don't necessarily like it so much on my 3100. Didn't like it on the 5000. I prefer having the two command dials to, uh, to work the two functions. One, even just the simple functions of one for aperture, one for... Um, shutter speed when you're shooting in manual is a huge difference not to have to go into the menu features to alternate that and use the LCD. There's two reasons right there. Um, basically we're also looking at better autofocus. Two reasons on the autofocus too. Not only is it a better autofocus, it's their CAM 3900 I believe is the, the designation if memory serves. Uh, so you're getting more points uh, stronger autofocus, better system altogether than the older CAM system, I think it's the CAM 1100 that is in the 5100 system. That's been there since about the, uh, the Nikon D200. Very solid focusing system. I'm not knocking it at all. Just a little better one in the D7000. Uh, if you're shooting mostly center focus point, you might not see the difference at all with these. So. Um, better focus system, but not only better, you're looking at the uh, focus system in the 7000 has the built-in motor. So the 5100 has no motor, so it needs AFS lenses. The 7000 can use all of the older lenses, the non-AFS lenses, and believe me, there are some really sweet lenses available that aren't AFS and often at better prices. For instance, the Nikon 50mm F18D great lens you want to be able to use that you can only use it in autofocus on the 7000 not on the 5100 or on the 3100 for that matter because it's not an AFS lens so there you go folks um, there's four or five reasons right there why you would want to buy the 7000 over the D5100 as much as the D5100 is going to be a great camera I can't wait to get mine the 7000 has some things that if I didn't own the 7000 um, I wouldn't just be looking at the 5100 to not, and not have a 7000 because I want the ability to use the older lenses. I do like the better autofocus. Uh, it is a more rugged body, more pro body. It's got the dual command dials. So basically there's four good reasons to use the uh, or to purchase the 7000 over the 5100. Thanks for tuning in folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back with some more video posts, some more articles and uh, we'll keep up to date with what's going on in the world of photography. Thanks a lot.